Yes. I want to play a little game. What? <laughs> what? Come here. Auto sign in. Really? Really? Come on. Breaking me out of this mood. I'm going to play this game. Let's go. God dang, escape. Really? Get out of this crap. I don't want to get in this so god I just want to play the game oh here it is I was like what uh do I have everything mm. oh my god just go normal subtitles on should I go black and white that would be pretty sweet but Hmm. Should I go black and white? I don't know, man. What are extras? Yeah, let's just stay away from that. New game. A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. Where every man can own his own home and have room to breathe not be overlooked by his neighbors. A city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. A city of opportunists. A city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. A city of pioneers. A city of dreamers. The 40s, right? A city of undercurrents. Where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries will stretch as far as the eye can see. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path. Or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, code 2. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Whoa, uh, hold on here. I need to check something real quick. Um, cool. Um, I need to do something real quick here. And good to go.
map. Where are we going? Looks like uh, elevator crafting. Can we just set a uh, destination? Yeah. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. In the beam of sunshine himself. Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you Jeez. guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We I'm got out of here. To be. Happy hunting. Detective doesn't give a shit about that friggin' thing. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it <laughs> your way. We'll oh, search God. right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Two heads are always Press better R than one. For reverse camera view. Okay. I don't need advice from you. Look at this junk. Uh, musical challenge control vibrations is indicated this investigation. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. What have you got, Phelps? Anything? Did you pass over something over here, bro? I tell you, I'm jinxed. I always get landed with this crap. Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. What you got, bro? never gonna find it it's a waste of time Let's shooter stay. put him up against the wall and blew his brains out hell of a way to go doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone <laughs> don't get all deep on me Phelps Something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right. Don't hurt yourself. What's up, Toxic? Hmm. How can I get up there? Got some barbed wire. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. Nothing in it? What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Why would that not be of any use? There's a homeless dude over here. Maybe he's south something.
a drain pipe right there. Nothing else. How you doing tonight, Toxic? How you doing, Cole? Found it yet? What's this? Come on, man, gloves. I don't even want to think about what that smell is. Serial number. Wesson. Serial S71893. Two, Two rounds shots. fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. We should follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. For sure, for sure. I'm doing all right. Toxic. We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Let's do this, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. The soups didn't seem to give oh. much of a damn. Such a little boy scout hole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Let's go investigating. Let's see what we can find. Wake up, Cole. Ain't nothing over here. Wake up, Cole. Shut up, man. I'm freaking investigating. <laughs> I've run freaking weird. Whoa, 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 this is over here. Wake up, Cole. Nope. Picking up bottles for me, man. Something else over here. Just freaking vibrated. Another freaking bottle? Well, let's see. Wake up, Cole. It doesn't give me anything to go on. Bottles, man. Zigzag like the freaking crocodile chasing us. I'm driving. I'm driving, fool. Set as the destination. Who are you? Police on duty. We need a popo car. Hmm. Whoa, what the hell was that? Take this main street to the right here. There we go. Turn on the siren. Get the hell out of my way. Played this game, Gears. This is just not a block away. Okay, it's an annoying ass. Central guns. I do look shady. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith and Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. 
Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies? Is it not toxic? Interesting. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind I'm gonna check into that. Be my guest. This is about something bad, right? Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? On that grip. Pearl grip. The only 27 is right here. We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. So, uh... Did it bring up the guy that I need? Who's Scooter Payton? Oh, yeah. Where's the gun? Okay. Errol Schroeder. Detective. He's a douche. Probably the one that shot him. Did we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. I'm going to Schroeder's apartment. And I'm saying set as a destination. It's a red light. We don't give a crap. We're gonna take many minutes. Nah. -uh. Two main streets over. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. And yes, so. <laughs> Excuse me. Seems a little too good. Get my sir. Let's get my sir. Kind murder weapons bought locally using a real gun. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. Really are full. Yeah, let's go right. Let's just check the map. Uh. Well, we kind of passed the road. That's gonna take it. Crap. We need to turn around. God, this car turns like duty, man. Really? How the hell you do that? Alright, so... We go straight down 3rd. We'll take a left on Central Avenue. Is the map showing this is the no that's a gun store where the hell where am I going oh my god this is where I'm supposed to be going I don't know where the fuck I'm going you're behind the wheel well oh, interesting yeah, it never gave me a tool to go like back. Cool. <clears throat> Sometimes I hate open world traveling. Playing at being bored. 
Schroeder's two. Schroeder, apartment two. Uh, three, two. Milk bottles. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. What? You ready, tough guy? Huh? That way. Dude, bro. I was blocking, fool. Really? Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. He's lucky he caught me off guard. Keep an eye on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. Oh, something's vibrating. These are the bottles that were left there. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. Not much help. Audio for what? The game? There's not much else I can freaking grab. That's a door out. What oh, that book? Hmm. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. That's a detective Phelps, on the case, isn't it? We can come it? out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Officer Phelps, badge 1247. What? Fucking sons of bitches, get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. I didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. What a deek. Cole. 
A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. But the force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. They could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan, 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identify code 3. We'll take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. 14 Adam on route. Am I driving? I am. <coughs> Cole, we got things to do. You can drive. I don't feel like driving, folks. You know what I'm saying? Jeez, already? We've been pressing A. Where's the other guy at? Stay down. Getting hammered here, Phelps. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. Backup will be here soon. No, it's LAPD, RB. put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. You come any closer, we'll cut you in half. Really? Stay in cover. The hell is that? Oh, come on. This fool, look at this fool. Yeah, look at that. That's it. We got them all. I think we got them. Should be all clear. I don't know about that. Oh, okay. Lieutenant Hopkins says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess it's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive it first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future... Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Cole Phelps and Jack Kelso. With some people, it's as simple as chemistry. Two guys who should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a 
quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. In my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bomb. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before. He jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Wendell Bowers! Stop! LNPD! You can destroy yourselves. What? Why no, sir. He's gonna cut right. Howard, hold it right Maybe there. He's cut left. Stop now, or I will shoot. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire. You don't want to do this, Wendell. What the hell? Why is he randomly freaking? Oh gosh. Freaking... Down right now. Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Bro, it's over. Parkour. Get it. Give it up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Ah! Looks what? like we've got the place to ourselves. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. Oh. Freaking sucker punching me, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna give you a second of freaking hit. Bitch. What you doing, Wendell? Parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. This hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, Eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership. Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Weiss, five. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office now. every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up, gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. You're first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. Broad daylight, crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Everybody stay back. Let us do our job.
Stop moving his head. This is weird. <laughs> Nothing? Not his face. That's what I was trying to go for in the first place. Is that a lot of number? Oh, it's sales. C. Galetta. Layway receipt. Pearl earrings. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. Gotta be a way to. All right, all right. Yes, it's a dead person. I want to get the top. Whatever. I guess there's nothing else to. Right. Something shiny over here. Oh, bullet casings. Shell, Shell cases. cases. Look like thirty twos. Dang it. You all seem to be standing around. Shouldn't you be working? <laughs> you see. Make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. So. I went through his pockets already. FN Browning, serial number 01138. Might need to run it by a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. This guy in the crowd thinks he saw something, Cole. You better take a statement. Which guy? All these cops? Show's big, over. Right? Keep moving, all of you. Don't you people have anything better to do? Which guy are you talking about? I swear, this town this guy? is great. Sir, I'm Officer Phelps. What did you see? I heard the shots. Uh, I thought it was a car backfiring. Uh, I saw a girl run at the shoe store. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. If you were twice as smart, you'd still be stupid. It's messed up. Uh oh. My camera froze. For some reason. Better? Oh, okay, whatever. Not sure what the hell happened there. Speak to the witness before homicide arrives, Phelps. If you think she's lying, don't be afraid to get forceful. Verbally, of course. And don't accuse her of anything without proof. Lawyers love that shit. And if you're sure she's straight up, try the general approach. See what you can coax out of her. Officer Phelps, miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? <laughs> What's up, he was damage? my boss. Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage's first name? Everett. And you are? Galleta. Clovis Galleta. You think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? 
I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. What was her name? Oh, her name is Gaeta. That's what I thought. I think she's lying. The girls are part of a group of 100 who will work in a rayon. You're lying, Miss Galetta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing no problem, to tell. Joe. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? A freaking layaway voucher. Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying. And tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. Oh, my God. What the fuck is that? Oh, my God. Thanks for the follow, Incredible Joe. A lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang. And another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. How many shots did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many. Oh, my camera's they were frozen so again. Loud. I don't know what's up with my camera, but I'm just gonna leave it off for right now. Well, no, yep, yeah, it's not definitely not working. I don't know what's going on, so I'm just gonna leave it at B. Continue on. Concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang, and then another, and then three very quickly close together. Five. Hmm. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between What's up, and six. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callu looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. Hmm. Making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Thank you for your help, ma'am. 
been very brave. We'll need you to make a formal statement about what happened, Mr. Cage. Does that mean I can still collect my... my... Never mind. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Sure doesn't. Stop it. saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. I swear, this town is straight to hell. You know the way. You can drive. You know, let's check the gun store first. What can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Edgar Kalu was his name. Thing looks like it'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. Do you know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry mm -hmm. store just up on Broadway. So it was your help. Can you drive to this one? Dude, bro, move out of the way. Bro. Jesus. You gonna get in the car, bro? You drive. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> Where are you from, uh, Incredible Joe? If you're getting some lag. I don't stream in too high of a quality, so I shouldn't have too much lag problems. a new watch. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. He's gonna run. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Told you. Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Hurry, officer. He's getting away. Freaking employee. Kalu! Get back here! There he is, officer! Come on, you bastard. Bring it. You better stop. Oh, wait, what? I can't shoot his freaking leg? <laughs> oh, God. So what was I supposed to shoot then? That's the boo, Officer Cole Phelps. Are you Edgar Kalu? 
Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Hurry, officer! He's getting away! Hello! Get back here! If you get him, give him one for me! I mean, what exactly is the point of telling me how to aim? Can I attack him? Can I attack him? Oh, damn it. Bro, you're done. I'm gonna get you in this downhill right here. I'm gonna get you, bro. What the hell? How are you running faster? Why am I getting slower? I don't understand how I got slower going down a hill. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See what that is? Jesus, bro. What the hell? Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. The case that makes you, and the case that breaks you. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you... Let you do what, Incredible Joe? The might have been the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nodded our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time, and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. All right, Incredible Joe. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. You got nothing, boy chick. What? You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just gotta keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you wanna keep making a schmuck of yourself. What? You disappoint me, Cole Phelps. Get back in there and raise some lumps, boy! I need a confession! Wait, what? Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. 
You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. You shot Gage, and we know why. Oh, there's intuition we can put you in the scene. You can't prove anything. You got nothing, boy chick. What? You're gonna be laughed right out of court. I've just got to keep my mouth shut and watch you run around in circles. We're done. Unless you're uh, 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 yourself. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Select, remove, and answer to narrow down. Yeah, for you. I need to choose the correct answer. You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. We know all about the oh, argument. Okay. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Wing leaning parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher! You and that stump gauge! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Only two?
Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, Detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? He's intense. The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Are they all dressed like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. And now some housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Ooh. Shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole. Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Coroner says it's going to be at least a week to get an ID. Door knocking all morning, but I got to make in the car. They really man. pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Only if I guarantee he walked. That's the guy. I hear he's an honest cop. Now, there's an oxymoron for you. You know this place? Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse. All right. So, tell me a little about yourself, Phelps. Are we friends now, Bukowski? We have to work together. Don't be so touchy. I grew up in San Francisco. My father was in shipping. I went to college at Stanford. Did two years ROTC before Reno CS at Camp Elliott. Picked out in early 45 as the first lieutenant, caught in the open hour. Just wounded, took back home. The gear on the beat, now I'm here. So you won the Silver Star. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. You single-handedly killed 40 Japs on this hill in Okinawa. No, you were up there all night, draped in the flag, knife between your teeth, gun at the ready. You finished? The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge against you. I did my part, Bukowski. What did you do? I kept the streets of L.A. safe for the people. Yeah, now I get it. Unfit for service. Fuck you, Phelps. I earned a bravery citation during the Zuda riots. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the third time you've told me. What's up, Troy Basil? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right.
This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. Yeah, I definitely like it in black and white. Alright guys, I think I'm gonna end this for tonight. Camera's not working right. Don't want to play too much. Got work in the morning, so thanks for watching guys. I'll be back with some more of this game. Probably tomorrow night. Alright guys, night.